Yeah, Rob, not since Cleveland's Howard Metzenbaum retired from the Senate in 1994, as Ohio had two sitting U.S. senators. But Congressman Tim Ryan thinks the time might be right. It was around this time, 12 years ago, that the late Senator George Voinovich announced he would retire at the end of his Senate term. He had incoming calls from a number of Republican hopefuls and one outgoing call to former Congressman Rob Portman. George Voinovich asked me to run uh, and, you know, he asked me to come to D.C. and have dinner with him and uh, I wasn't planning to run for the Senate. But run and win he did, easily, twice, filling similar shoes. You followed in that Voinovich mold, fiscal conservative, moderate in temperament. Does that even make it out of an Ohio Republican primary today? We'll see. I mean, the voters are going to decide that. There's lots of interest, and that's a good thing. Public service is important. It's honorable, in my view. Uh, you want people to step forward. And I think we'll have a good candidate who can both win a primary but also win a general election. A man interested in the latter part of that equation is Democratic Congressman Tim Ryan, who is weighing a run for the seat. Given President Trump's back-to-back -back eight-point wins in the state, he doesn't see someone in the mold of Portman or Voinovich coming out of the Republican primary. I mean, I would assume that, you know, the, the way the primaries go, you're going to get probably the extreme right of the right in the Republican Party, uh, most conservative, uh, anti-union, uh, anti-worker uh, person. Um, and I, I think that's where it is, someone who doesn't really want to reach across the aisle. I think that's probably who's going to get out of that primary. And the problem is that that's not where the vast majority of the Ohioans uh, who vote are. That it will not be one of those on the far right. Congressman Jim Jordan reportedly announcing that he will stay, not run for Senate, stay in the House where he has been able to build up the base of power. Fascinating stuff, John. Question here, though, why so quick with a decision like this when we have well over a year before we even see a primary. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of money to run for these seats, especially an open seat like this. And that's why Congressman Ryan even said he's going to take some time to weigh this, but he knows he can take a lot of time. He's got to make up his mind quickly on this because there will be a lot of money that needs to be raised. And you will be on top of it for us. John Kosick reporting live. Thanks, John. Still ahead for us, a family fighting to get back on a basketball team after they say a mother's action got her son kicked off. We'll explain how a mask is behind this debate. And one Ohio company on a high-tech mission to save lives. How their new technology could help doctors test new procedures while saving on costs. All right, weather-wise, we're keeping an eye on our highways and byways this late afternoon and evening. Rush hour moving pretty well in most spots right now. We do have some bursts of moderate snow. We're going to take you back to 340. We'll show you these two bands coming on shore. They're kind of sinking southward now, but still, you've got a moderate band of snow. Solon to Twinsburg into Aurora, Maple Heights into Independence again. Another one down from Hinkley to Brunswick. You could pick up a quick half an inch to maybe an inch of additional snow as the snow showers continue to move south and east through the area. They're not staying over one location for a long period of time. That's the good news. So we're not expecting heavy amounts of snow. Just drive with care. Wear those warm coats. It's cold. We'll be back. An Ohio 10-year-old and his family kicked out of a youth basketball league after his mother refused to wear a mask over her nose while watching his game. The family wants the league's decision reversed and says the incident never